Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Monday is Mine. My name is Big Hallelujah, and let's just get right into it. Uh, Eminem dropped The Death of Slim Shady in like 18 tracks, like three or four skits. Uh, runtime, who knows? It took me five minutes. Uh, absolute garbage. Uh, <laughs> uh, like two tracks that I liked, um, and they weren't because of Eminem. Uh, I don't think there was a single good beat on this whole album. Um, I think the worse music he makes, the more crazy your reaction is. And I mean your, like not mine or us, y'all. Because <laughs> niggas is on Twitter like, this is a 10 out of 10. This is the album of the year. This not even album of, of, of BC, of After Christ. This not, this not an album. You know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> this nigga has no subject matter to rap about. Uh, it's either I'm not Slim Shady, Twitter is trying to cancel me, Anthony Fantano doesn't like my music, or hey, did y'all guys know that sometimes I like to talk to my daughters on a song? Um, <laughs> and let's go through and talk about each one of those. You're not Slim Shady. Okay, you've been saying that for almost a decade. Uh, we know. We're well aware. Trust me. You don't have to drop an album saying the death of Slim Shady. He died a long time ago. Uh, Marshall Mathers, you need to go that way too. Um, <laughs> two, Twitter's trying to cancel me. No, we're not. Okay, let me get into this. one what pisses me off because I, I sat here and listened to it over the course of like 18 tracks. He says it maybe 10, 10 times on each song. It's crazy. Um... Bro, we don't even listen to you, bro. I'm going to be honest with you. We're not trying to cancel you. This shit just sucks. Point blank, period. I, like, I say we. I Notice I said we. It's not just me. I'm with the culture feeling. We do not listen to that shit, bro. We are not checking for that. We're not trying to cancel you. It's just bad. That's the, you, I, you have attached yourself to this I'm anti-woke, anti-cancel culture rapper. Tom McDonald, congratulations. That's who you've become. This guy is just a white guy, man. Hawk Tua in the promo? Come on, dog. It's a white guy, man. It's crazy. Guilty Conscience too. I listened to it. What about that is even close to comparable to Guilty Conscience 1? I like Guilty Conscience 1. You think I'm lying? Before you go in the drawer of this liquor store and try to get money out the drawer. You, come on, dog. I love that song. This song is garbage. This is terrible. Why would you name it that? How how dedicated is this nigga to spitting on everything good he ever made? What's the point? What are we doing here? Is it money? Is it fame? Is it recognition? Are you stubborn? What is it? Please let me know. I can't discern it on your song. I've tried my best. I don't know what you want from us. You keep putting out this garbage shit. These people keep telling you it's fire. It's not. Niggas came to me saying, yo, this is a 10 out of 10. Nigga, this is a negative 1 million out of 10. This is crazy. Take it back. The visualizer of him zipping himself up in the damn shit. So bad, bro. You niggas love that shit. You think this nigga's a genius. He's garbage, bro. I'm willing to fight with you niggas all day. This album could have never came out. This album could have never came out. The best part of this album was the Jid verse. I swear to you, bro. Oh, my God. It was like I'm in a desert and the Jid verse was an oasis. I'm crawling towards the oasis that is this Jid verse. And then here you come right after the Jid verse and you wipe the oasis away. It was a mirage. You let me know that the whole time I was still in the middle of a fucking salt flat. There's nothing here of substance. There's a grown ass man talking about Twitter canceling him. And he's a multi-millionaire, millionaire, one of the highest selling artists of all time. This nigga is a child. Uh... The other thing, he's talking to his kids. Bro, his kids are adults. Did his daughter just get married or something? They know. You don't have to tell them that you were on drugs. We know. They can look it up. It's on the internet. Have they never been on the internet? Come on, dog. What are we talking about, bro? What's going on? He has no subject matter. And when you don't have subject matter, why rap? And I know a lot of the comments are going to be already. I'm telling you right now. If you racist, I will clown you. <laughs> Understand that opinions are completely subjective. What I think, you might not think. However, this shit is objectively garbage. 
This is terrible. It's a bad album, man. It's 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 one of the worst things I've heard in a long time. And very fitting that it's Eminem. Um, <laughs> just why, bro? The Houdini song, uh, that, that being the single for your album was like the harbinger of death. Like that was like a nigga going back in time and telling me the Black Plague was about to happen. Because this album came out and it was it was just as garbage as Houdini foretold it to be. Like self-fulfilling prophecy type shit. None, none, not one good beat. I bro. Oh my god, this nigga's beat selection is off the charts. How are you this cool with Dr. Dre? <laughs> this album is so bad, bro. <sighs> okay. Now <laughs> there was a baby tron in, in uh Big Sean feature, cause you know, woo, Detroit. Um <laughs> For for <laughs> to keep myself sane, I won't go into why I don't like that. I'ma just say that's not how I like hearing Baby Tron rap. Uh well not rap, but that's not what I want to hear him rapping over. And Big Sean is like the final nail in the coffin. Um He's from Detroit, I guess. Uh <laughs> I like Big Sean. That verse is crazy. Um these music videos that you're doing, absolutely. I mean, just, I mean, just, just cringe, right? It's nothing really wrong with the music videos. Just cringe. Um, this whole album can be described as just cringe. Uh, Jelly Roll being on the last track, I get the what it means. You know what I'm saying? They both beat drugs in a major way. Uh, shouts to that. But um, I'm not going to support Jelly Roll in any way, shape, or form. Why you ask that? It's a white man with face tattoos, man. I don't know what to tell you. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I will support that in any way, shape, or form. Uh, if you know, you know. Um, <laughs> this is this is a good this was a good like palate uncleanser. Like this was like a, a like a palate shitter for for us to you know we got a lot of good music with Kendrick and, and Drake going back and forth, and a lot of good music. J Cole came out a lot a lot of good a lot of good music, and then we got this just you know. <laughs> White man doing what he do best, I guess, you know? <laughs> oh, man. I didn't want to do this. I don't ever want to talk about this nigga, dog. I'm going to be so honest with you. I understand that my opinion may be unpopular. And I understand that it may ruffle feathers and you may not like it. But the nigga sucks. <laughs> you know? There's no way around that, unfortunately. As much as we try hope and, 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 and can wish he's just garbage. Ultimately, he needs to stop. He needs to retire. Um, it can't be this polarizing. You know what I'm saying? It can't be one nigga coming to me and telling me this is a, a 10 out of 10 album and then another nigga coming to me and telling me this is the worst thing they ever heard. Somebody's lying, right? Um, there's no room for us to be subjective at all. Like somebody's lying, point blank. It can't be a 10 out of 10 and a 0 out of 10 at the same time. Um, and it's not Gen Z niggas neither. Them little niggas not listening to that shit. They're not. They're not. They're listening to Ken Carson. They don't care about Eminem. Uh, I don't know where he's getting this idea. Don't attach yourself to that because that's not what it is. It's just bad music. Um, you go back, listen to his music. A lot of it is bad. A lot of it is. Some of it is really good. Some of it is really good. I like I like the whole 8 Mile soundtrack. It was really good, man. Um you need to go back to that. Go back to Eight Mile, brother. Go back in that trailer. Get 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 used to it. <sighs> this has been Monday is mine. I did not like the album. If you could not tell by now, um, I, I really hope that you never nobody listens to that in sincerity ever again. It won't be talked about in five years, ten years, three years, two years. Um, it's not album of the year. It will not win a BET award. Um, <laughs> so we can go ahead and cut that noise now. Uh, I'm David Banner could probably make an album better than that right now uh, without even trying. That album was garbage. That album was really bad. I, I love y'all, man. I hope y'all love me. If you don't and you really like Eminem, I'm sorry. Uh, type your comments as fast as you can. Goodbye.